Yes, sir, baby. Hope you're doing well. Welcome to episode two of Campus Hero Hunters, man. If you haven't seen episode one, I will drop it at the very end for you guys. Make sure you catch up. Our goal is to try to pull every single Campus Hero out of the reroll set by the time the reroll set comes out. I am pumping out a bunch of episodes while Ricky Williams is in pack. Gives me the best shot possible. Now, I'll probably change my shirt so it looks like it did on different days, but just remember, it's on the same day. So far, we have 11 out of 35 Campus Heroes that have currently been pulled so far. We have 190, a bunch of the 87s, no LTD yet, and no Michael Crab. Tree. We do have 40,000 nice. training that we're going to pump into this. I spent about 900,000 coins on this one. Mark is starting to come down just a little bit. So we're going to jump right into it. I think I'm going to, I think I'm going to quick sell all of my eighties as normal. Holy shit. Oh my God. It's going to be a great day. On the first episode, man, it was great, right? We went absolutely wild and then I started getting cocky and re-rolling and well, the rest is history. Trash. We saw by the 90s, Michael Crabtree's going for about 373. Derek Johnson's 379. So they're about the same price. And Ricky Williams is sitting at 745. So he's very, very expensive. Um, I have unfortunately yet to pull Ricky Williams. Hopefully today is the day or at least some point and Campus Hero Hunters, I can pull him. Uh, hopefully these are good. Hopefully we can get a 90. I feel like they nerfed him a little bit. They don't feel as good as they did yesterday. So we're going to start off with an 80. I'm going to take the training for that. I have my list up right here. If we do get a new one, I will mark it off as new. And if we get an old one, then it'll be a duplicate, obviously. I'm not going to be counting duplicates. Kids. I usually in the past I'll count like how many I pull. Um, I may do that a little bit further down as we get our first 84 junior say out. I made that I may do that a little bit further down, but for now I'm just gonna try to keep track of it. Just one and one and done. That's all I really care about. Mike Hilton, he's new. Let's go mark him off. First 87 off the board, Mike Hilton. We will take that. Um, I don't know how much he's going for. Some go for like hundred k some go for like 160. But realistically, it doesn't really matter. No, no back to back this time. I did pull back to back 87 my first time around. So hopefully we can repeat that. But we got 187. Luckily, he is a new one too. I'm, ex I'm, I'm wondering who's going to be the Dwight Freeney of, of this campus hero set, but no Ricky Williams, man. No Michael Crabtree. I need both of those. And I feel like those are going to be so hard to pull. So, so far with the 84 and the Mike Hilton, we're probably sitting about, I don't know. I would say like 160 to 180. Maybe it depends on how Mike, how much Mike Hilton goes for. I felt like really good about these things at first, but then like the more and more I did them, I don't know. I just didn't really like them too much. So I think the number I'm going to be doing is about 40,000 at a time. I think that's pretty, pretty good. Some episodes are going to be great. Some episodes are going to suck. You got to remember that. I mean, it's not all butterflies and rainbows when we do Campus Hero Hunters. Sometimes the episodes are brutal. Last episode was very good. We pulled like 10 of them. So I'm assuming this episode, I mean, if we could pull LTD, that'd be huge. But I'm assuming this episode is probably going to be a little bit tough. The first time I did it, man, I made some coins. The second time I did it, there we go. Finally, another 84. The second time I did it, I made a little bit of profit and then I got cocky and I blew it all away. If I'm going to be down like a, like a million coins in two episodes, I'm not going to do this. I can't. I can't do it. I can't take hits like that all the time. Come on now. There we go. No, he's a duplicate. Garrett Bradbury, we we I do know I pulled him yesterday. He's a duplicate. I did pull him on episode one, but I mean, I guess we'll take it. He's one of those two that don't really have a lot of value. I think he goes for like 110, 115. It's not really good for coins. I mean, we'll take it. It's a lot better than pulling a bunch of 80s. Come on, man. Ricky Williams. Okay, back to back 84s. We'll take that. It's all profit. 84 plus is our profit in these things. I think the biggest thing about these things is the amount of 80s we get one. But if even if I don't get a bunch of 87s, if I'm going to maximize profit, if I can pull a little bit more 80s, fours and i do 80s that's gonna help out a lot right so we're about halfway through now i think we have lamarcus joiner we don't have him mark him off let's go i fucking love hunters bro we have 387s halfway through right now lamarcus joiner is a new one we also got mike hilton was a new one and bradbury is a duplicate so so far i think we're at 13 or 14 out of 35 almost halfway done with this the series in two episodes which is huge but the farther we get into this when we're winding down with the last 10 campus heroes we need to pull the duplicates start coming out and that's when it gets very, very difficult. We did complete Campus Heroes last year, so that's a double take Jim Taylor too. Find the hardest cards to pull, uh, 87 wise that I, I don't think I've pulled a single one yet are the legend ones like Keith Jackson, Fred Taylor. I've been finding those to be rare to pull. I pull like all the new ones like Nelson Aguilar and all the ones that are more up to date. I find myself pulling those a lot more than I have the, the legend ones for sure. Marcus Mariota. Ever since I pulled that 87, man, we're in a little bit of slump. Halfway, a little bit over halfway through right now. Three or four 87s, three 87s and a good amount of 84 so. We just need these things to continuously hit. Come on, dude. Where are the 87s at? 84 Gary Zimmerman. We'll take that. We'll hang on to him. I think we're almost at double digit 84, so that's good. Spent about almost a million coins on this, so I'm probably pretty close, like probably 700K. I would assume we've made back with this six, 700K. So we pull like one or two more 87s. We'll probably break even, which at this pace, doing this is completely fine. 84, we'll take that. There we go. Will Shields. We'll take him, man. We'll take him. 10K left. No, dude. It's going to kick me out. Kicks, dude. I'm telling you, anytime I do rerolls, it kicks me out all the time. 
All right, we're back in it, man. I feel like once you're in like a groove and stuff and it kicks you out, it just wipes away your progress. Now it's just going to be a bunch of 80s. Okay, 84. Never mind. We're back in it. Let me break even, dude. Just let me break even. I don't even have to make crazy profit. I will be happy with even. If I can do 40,000 at a time and literally lose maybe 50K or break even, I'm fine with that. Eventually, I will make profit. Eventually, I will lose. That's just how it works. I took a pretty massive L yesterday, so I'm hoping today is a little bit better, which just seems like I'm, I'm on pace to break even. We just need those big pools. That's all. Give me one more 87. One more. Mark room oh let's go marcus mariota he's probably one of the more expensive ones too all right little dub there marcus mariota he's a new one so we'll mark him off the list now we're at like 15 almost halfway done with this thing so far back to back no one back to back but we'll take that um, i'm not expecting anything else from here on out we pulled four of them probably broke even on this pack opening which is fine episode two is a little bit oh <laughs> mark him off you know is new too i thought i pulled him before but i haven't so dude this episode's amazing oh 287s in about three packs so that's a little bit of a dub back to back no back to back so we pulled five total four new ones and one duplicate all right we're gonna take a look at the list when we're all done as well so you guys can see where we are and what we have Derek mason we'll go ahead and uh hang on to him to sell him but i'm pretty confident we're gonna break even on this fine with me let's finish strong man give me one more 84 maybe an 87 dude throw me a 90 i'll make profit throw me throw me ricky williams right now i'll make profit that's true man i can't pull any of the legend one it's all the new ones that i've uh that i've pulled so far uh three or four more and we are done successful i think i think episode two is pretty successful when it comes to 87s four new ones one duplicate five total decent amount of 84s probably broke even on this your boy's gonna buy more training and probably record like three more episodes while ricky williams is in packs so expect campus heroes uh pretty much every single day or every other day from here on out till they come out of packs which they may come out of the rerolls next week when they drop ultimate kickoff but i hope not hopefully they're in here for a little while uh, last one, Keith Jackson. We're going to hang on to him, or do I want to risk it? Well, uh, we'll quick sell Keith Jackson. Why not? We'll quick sell him. We can do it, I think, two more times at that point. So we quick sold Keith Jackson. We're going to do it two more times. We're going to try to. Carl Banks. I'm going to do it again. I'm going to take the training from there again. Now we can do it two more times. All I need is one more 84 to kind of, you know, break even on that. And if not, that's okay. If I pull another 80, then I can do it one more time. We got to risk it, man. I'm, trying to, I'm just trying to pull, pull Ricky Williams out here, but I feel like it's going to be impossible to do. Uh, last one of the bunch. Give me a little walk-off. Give me another 87 on the way out. Give me Michael Crabtree. It's going to be Heinz, baby. Look at the binder. All right, 84-wise, we got 4, 10, 12, 84s. As of right now, they're selling for about 29,000 after tax. So times 12 is 348,000 coins. Uh, Chenault is going for how much? He's probably cheap, right? At 95, is that a snipe? 100K for him after taxes. I'm pretty confident we can get 110 for him. Uh, but we'll say 95 for him. These are all starting to come down to... Uh, Garrett Bradbury, I know, is pretty cheap, too. Actually, he went up 130. We'll say 115 after taxes. So we're at about 563 currently. 151, we'll say 135 after taxes. Mike Hilton is... Oof. We're going to say 100K for him. And Joyner, we'll say about 115 for him. So we made about 913,000 coins back. I spent about about that. So I broke even at the end of this. If I'm breaking even, that's fine. If I'm taking like a, a minor L, okay. You know, it gives us more shots to re-roll it. I'm going to sell all these individually and then I'll go ahead and buy more trading at a cheaper rate, man. But let's go to list and mark them off. All right, baby. So here is the updated list from the first two episodes, right? We got Derek Johnson when we did our very first packet opening for Campus Heroes. So we counted him. Nelson Aguilar, Grady Bradbury, Brandon Cooks, Grant Delpet, as well as Darquise Denard and all the rest of them down here as you you can see now we haven't ricky williams we haven't pulled he's gonna be on here if we pull him great if we don't i'm not gonna count that because he seems very very hard to to pull uh, but it looks like the hard ones to pull for me are car, like carl banks alan banica when it comes to like the legends seem like the hardest ones to pull the only one i've actually pulled that was a legend was will shield so there's 35 of them and we have 15 of them so far man so we're almost halfway done with the list in two episodes so we're killing it but be on the lookout for episode three that should probably be drop on monday tuesday or wednesday i don't know i gotta record a bunch more like the video make sure you like the video do not forget to sub on the week out maybe so like guys tell your mom and tell your daddy catch you guys on next video Shoot.